Okay, welcome to film class. I am your film professor, Jeff Glock. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this ridiculous video and taking this class. And you know, I love all of you. Some of you know me already. Uh, uh, some of you know me from last semester. So I really appreciate you guys being here. You're that you're gonna make me. You're gonna make me get through this whole thing. I'm doing. I'm doing it for the. If you've taken a class with me before, um, I'm I'm giving this to you because you're the students. The only students that I get to know. I've known in person. Um, but for all of you, thanks for joining me. Uh, film class is a tough one during COVID. Um, it's sad to have to do this during COVID. What would have happened before COVID is we would have all been in the same room um, and we would have watched a movie together and I would have paused the movie and talked about what's on screen and we would have spent basically four hours watching a two hour movie. Um, instead, what's gonna happen is you're gonna need to watch the movies on your own. Um, uh, and they're you know cheap to rent and they're easy to find, but you gotta get them on your own and then you're gonna come watch these videos. So your first movie is a movie called 2001 A Space Odyssey from 1968 directed by Stanley Kubrick. Um, that is the opening movie of the semester. Now I developed a, the, the movies that I give you are in a particular order. Uh, it's, a, it's something I've essentially designed. It's actually something I'm quite proud of. In fact, I might go as far to say that the order and discussion of these films and the way they interlock and relate to each other is the greatest intellectual achievement of my entire life. Um, that's kind of overselling it, but that's how I feel. I love film class 11 so much. Um, there is a little, a couple of problems. Um, one of the biggest COVID related problems actually relates to the first movie, um, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Um, how do I put this? 2001 A Space Odyssey is a, I, I play it for students on the first day of class. Um, it's almost as a kind of practical joke. Uh, I'm being intentionally cruel to my students. Um, a lot of my students, a lot of people who take classes with me know me from other classes and they know I'm, they think I'm all, oh, Jeff's fun and he's a you know fun teacher and entertaining and whatever. And film, they know I like superhero movies and they know I like Mission Impossible movies and, you know, they, they, I know I, I like action movies and, you know, I, I'm, I love X-Men. I got like a, well, I can't, I got a huge X-Men tattoo because I really, I take my X-Men seriously. Um, and so they come to film class and they're like, this is going to be so fun. We get to watch exciting movies with Professor Clock. And then I, I hit the whole class with 2001 A Space Odyssey. Um, and I, what I usually do is I come into class and the students all look at me and I don't say anything to them. I don't say, welcome to class. I don't say, my name's Professor Clock. I don't tell them. I just hit play. And I, I, we watch the first like 40 minutes of 2001 A Space Odyssey and I don't say anything. Um, it's an upsetting experience for a lot of my students. Um, it's particularly difficult under COVID. Um, under COVID, you, there's a couple of things that's going to happen. Number one, some of you really crazy people are going to not watch the movies because you maybe you don't want to pay for them. And then you're going to try to survive the class just by watching my videos. I think that's going to be incredibly boring, uh, because it's hard to watch the videos if you don't know what I'm talking about. So you got to watch the movies. Number two, the, the, the next level of unfortunate student, um, is, go is going to start 2001 and be like, this is the most boring thing I've ever seen and turn it off and not finish it. Don't be that guy. Um, the third and most likely unfortunate thing that is going to happen is that you're going to put 2001 A Space Odyssey on and you're going to be like, okay, here we go, Professor Clock. Now, some of you that know me will trust me and maybe make it through, but for a lot of you guys, what's going to happen is you're going to put the movie on and, and you're going to watch it and you're going to be, you're going to be there for it for a little bit. And then you're going to get kind of bored because it's a little slow famously slow, actually. Um, I actually don't. I love it so much. I don't think it's slow, but I understand. I recognize that there are human beings in the world that thinks, think it's a dull movie. Um, it's not. It's the most amazing movie ever made, but whatever. It's a little slow. Like, just for starters, there's no talking for the first, like, 40 minutes of the movie. Um, and also, there's no talking for, like, the last 30 minutes. So it's it, it, you're not used to that in a film. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to put it on, and you're going to try and then you're going to look at your phone. You're going to get a message. You're going to answer the message. You're going to look up. And then you're going to get another message on your phone. And then you're going to be like, you're going to realize that while you're on your phone, not a whole lot is happening. They're docking a spaceship and you're going to text somebody. Oh, they're, oh, they're still docking. Okay. They're still docking a spaceship. I'm going to text somebody on my phone. No, they're still docking that goddamn spaceship. Oh, we got to the moon. And they're docking spaceships again. Okay. Let's go back to, and you're going to miss the whole movie. <laughs> um, the you need to I'm gonna tell you this and I don't think anybody's gonna do it but you gotta do it the you gotta watch the whole movie, um, part of that involves something that you're not used to and um, I'll talk more about this as we go but it, you you need to be bored on purpose, <laughs> uh, that's tough, um, you can't you need to exp I'll put it in a, a, a nicer way 
you need to experience how slow the movie is in order to appreciate how insane the ending is. The ending will, the ending, the insanity and the brilliance of the ending only works if you, I'm saying boring because I'm being sort of jokey. It has a slow and stately pace and you need to experience the slow and stately pace because the movie is training you to get used to a certain kind of pace. Um, and you need to let it go and happen to you at that pace. And then when the ending comes, it will be big. It will feel like something actually happened. Um, and if you don't do that, it won't. And that's one of the things we're going to talk about in the class. And it's, 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 it has to do with editing and pacing. And that's one of the things we're going to talk about. So you got to kind of watch the movie the right way. Um, so check it out and then come back here and watch these videos. And, and you can pause this now and come back and finish later. So I hope that you've, you've seen the movie by now. Um, and, and that you're ready to talk about it. So I do, I play 2001 A Space Odyssey to kind of harass my students. Um, I think it's funny to make them watch the movie. Um, but there's a reason why I start film class with 2001 A Space Odyssey. And it's because I want to suggest something to my students, which is that Hollywood could have looked different than it does now. Um, now, you're probably saying to yourself, well, I don't want it to look different. I like the Avengers Endgame. I also liked Avengers Endgame. Um, <laughs> but the Marvel movies, the superhero movies, the summer blockbusters, um, they are designed to, it's a commodity. It's something to purchase made by a huge corporation. Of course, not that 2001 isn't made by a big corporation, but they're made by huge corporations and they're designed to entertain you and really entertain you. They make, they're trying to make sure every single moment in the film is exciting, is entertaining. Every single moment in the Marvel movies, you, you're just filled to the brim with exciting things happening and explosions, and colorful costumes and beautiful human beings and, and, and jokes and there's all kinds of stuff happening in a movie to keep you entertained. And then the Marvel movies all end the same way. Uh, there's an advertisement for the next movie. Um, there, it's, it's, the the post-credit sequence is designed to kind of hook you into the next thing, um, and that and they're fun. They're great. I mean, they're they're very. And there's a whole complicated thing we can talk about Marvel, but but it, they're they're amazing. It's an amazing accomplishment. The Marvel movies are flawless. They're so they're perfect blockbusters, perfect summer blockbusters, and I love them to death. Um, and in fact, they they reinvented what blockbusters could be, and they changed Hollywood. And you know, they're amazing. Um, but <laughs> something got lost around, around on the path toward Marvel and, and other things, which is that um, they're, 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 they're very expensive to make, and so they need to make a lot of money back, and so they better please everybody. They better entertain everybody. They may better make everybody happy. Um, they better sell action figures. They better sell T-shirts, right? And they better sell the next movie. 2001 A Space Odyssey is nothing like that. It is a movie that takes place in space, and you might be like, oh shit, I like science fiction. This is going to be great. Um, there are no good-looking people in the movie, and there are no guns, and there's no shooting, and there's no sexy anything. Um, and I I totally understand why you want those things. I, I, I also, I'm a human being. I enjoy those things. I like sex and violence as much as the next guy. Take my Shakespeare classes filled with sex and violence. Um, but 2001 suggests something else you could do with movies. There's something else you could do. You could make art, like the kind of art you see in a museum. Um, you can challenge the audience, not just entertain them and make them happy, but give them a hard time. And I'm going to say this is ridiculous. Please don't make fun of me. Make their souls bigger. Um, I just forget I said that. Delete that. Um, they can do something else. And I'm giving you 2001 A Space Odyssey because I want you to see something else Hollywood could do. It's important to see that something else because it doesn't, it barely exists anymore because Marvel is so successful. All movies are like Marvel or look like Marvel or want to be Marvel. And there's a tiny handful of movies that try to do something else. And honestly, they're not that good at it because they're underfunded. And there's only a handful of, you know, really great movies in the world. And, you know, they can't all be 2001. And most of them are not. Um, so I just, I, I, I want to suggest 2001 suggests a different thing you could do with movies that my students are not used to seeing. Uh, and that's why I started with it. We'll pick it up in the next video. There's usually like a chunk of these all together and you watch the playlist. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.